Hi teachers, today I want to show you how to create your first assignment in Benchmark Universe. I personally use something called Clever. Not all districts have Clever. When my students access these resources, they are use, also using Clever. Your students need a way to access Benchmark Universe, so every district is different. So I'm in Benchmark Universe for my district, and I am going to go to Assignments. Now, if you click on the wheel, this drop-down menu will come, will come down. It does not give me the option to assign. Here, you see Add to Assignment. I can assign this video. Well, my students are on Unit 6, Week 3. I skipped Unit 6, so we need to go back to make sure that the students have the phonics skills that they need. So here I, I've clicked Assignments. I'm going to give my assignment a name. It's Unit 6, Week 3. I'm going to drag and drop the items or resources that I need. This is the Teacher Big Book. They can access those same stories in my shared readings. I'm going to drag and drop this in here. And if you look, I am able to assign this. Now, this ebook is the entire shared reading that my students took home. And if you look, they can turn the page from the corner. They can use the table of contents to turn the page. Find words. Right here in the corner. Now, sometimes, I don't know if it's, if there's, it's sometimes very glitchy, but it will have an arrow in the middle at the bottom where all the pages come up and they can just select. So let's go back here and keep assigning. I'm also going to assign the, the why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. And I'm not sure if they're going to need that this next week, but they can have access if they want to read any of the previous stories. Now, next week is going to be long A, so I'm going to assign the decodable. Now, in the classroom, these consumables are black and white. Now, I also want to assign, I can assign leveled readers. I can assign um, down here, I can assign these Heidi songs if I want. Let me look. Yep, I can assign them. Another thing that I found are these interactive learning games. Teachers, you do not need to spend more money on resources. You've already spent so much on resources that you use in the classroom. You can simply print out a page, and if you use something like Google Classroom, you can assign one page or take a picture with your camera and upload it to Seesaw perfectly fine. There are no new resources that you need. And there are also many advanced resources that are free, digital resources that are free. Way better than anything a teacher can make. So I want you to use what you already own on your comp saved in files on your computer and also look into iXL or Epic, I have no problem um, giving you suggestions. Sometimes having too many resources, it gets overwhelming. So here, this interactive learning game is very simple but effective. And I'm going to show you how it works. This one is the balloon pop. And this balloon pop is exactly what you see here. You Click Play. the words that have the long A, and if you accidentally Play. it'll go into this little balloon. If it does, let's see what happens if it doesn't. There you go. So now another interactive learning game available to you is this matching one. And again, I already have it open, so let me open that up. It's Pink. exactly what you see, and I do this with the site the high frequency words and the sight words in the classroom. So even though it doesn't look so cutesy, again, it does the job. Here, 
So I've already assigned these two. I drag and drop them. And this one is another one, this word building game. And I have these open so it continues to work in the background. Here you listen Brown. to the word and you spell it. So you're just oh. dragging these w -N. letters. Uh, I have assigned everything. If you look here, I am going to select my students. I make sure I have a start date and a due date, and I click Save. And that's it. I hope you found this useful.